In the previous lessons, we learned about Dynamesh, Subtools, and Masking Projects. All of those lessons will play an integral part in what we're getting ready to do here. In this lesson, we're going to split up our creature into several different subtools. We're going to separate them into the head, torso, arms, and legs. There is an advantage to this. By separating out the subtools, we can work faster because each subtool has its own independent resolution. So a great example of this is working in the face area. A lot of times the face has a lot of detail and it really, you have to increase the resolution and specifically in the face. And by breaking it out into a tool, we don't have to increase the volume count to the whole model here. We just simply need to do it to the head and face. Just a side note, this is not necessarily the workflow that you have to follow at this point. I tend to split the model up into subtools uh, at a later stage where there's more detail added and I really am certain that the model is in the position I want them to be in. Okay, so let's go ahead and make sure that we're in the right subtool here by clicking on the body. Now let's go ahead and access the selection tool by holding shift plus control and click on the stroke thumbnail, which is this one right here. So this gives us some more options here. And I'm going to go ahead and select the lasso tool, which is my favorite one to use for selecting specific areas. Let's go ahead and hide everything but the arms. And remember that I have symmetry on, so both sides are being selected. So remember that the eyes are still their own separate subtool, and that's the reason you can still see them even though we've hidden the other objects. That means that the selection tool will only work on the subtool that you're working with. It won't hide other subtools. But an easy way to get around that is to enter into solo mode, and you can do that by hitting S on your keyboard or just selecting the solo mode button down here. In this step, let's go to the subtool palette and expand split options here. You'll notice we have three options and they're all kind of self-explanatory. Let's go ahead and select the first button here called split hidden. What this does is split this section into a subtool of its own. And now let's go ahead and run Dynamesh just to close these holes up. Okay, that looks great. We close the arm holes up here. And now let's select the body and run Dynamesh again, and then we'll uh, close the holes on the body. One thing I kind of like to do here is just smooth up the edges a little bit. So go ahead and hold Shift down, and then run your brush over the edges of our arms. And go ahead and do that on the body edges as well. And now it looks nice. Don't worry too much about these gaps in between the body and the arms. We'll take care of that later. Okay, so now that we have done the arms and the torso, let's go ahead and do the legs here. And let's go ahead and go into solo mode here. Okay, now I'm going to hide everything but the legs. Now go to the subtool palette again here and select split hidden. And now let's close the holes. Redynamesh the legs here. Okay, now let's select the upper torso and we'll run Dynamesh again on that and close the holes there. Now let's uh, hold down shift and just smooth out the edges a bit on both subtools here. Okay, that looks good. Okay, so now all we have to do is separate the head from the torso. So let's go ahead and select the uh, torso body subtool here. Now go ahead and select the head. Okay, and go to the palette over here and select the split hidden button here. Now run your Dynamesh on the head. Okay, great. And now let's go ahead and do that on the torso here too. Select that and click and drag. Okay, looks good. Now let's just brush up the edges, smooth them out a little bit here. Okay, and that looks good. And now on the torso. Okay, that looks good. Okay, now make sure you're out of solo mode. Okay, everything looks great. One more thing to do, let's just rename our subtools here. So let's select the subtool we want and click on the rename button here. Now you can follow these steps and rename all of the subtools in your subtool list. And don't forget, save your project constantly. Okay, great. Now you know how to split up the model into subtools. Hey, if you like these videos, be sure and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time, thanks for watching.